My name is Jacob. I'm the operations director at a church. I switched from church community builder to planning center online. For more reviews like this, click below. The problems these products help me solve is as a church, we have a bunch of people that we need to keep track of. We need an effective database management system that also allows us to track the engagement of our people. Planning Center is best for measuring and engaging with the activity of people in your church. Planning Center has a bunch of different apps within it that enable you to track where people are in their journey, in their relationship with your church, and it has a friendly user-facing side that makes it easy for the people themselves to do the engagement with their mobile app or on the web. Church Community Builder is best for people who want robust reporting features that help them pull data about people in their church database and are less concerned with the look and feel of that interface, both on the administrative side and on the public facing side. Getting started with Church Community Builder had a large learning curve. Now, we first began using that about 10 years ago and there are so many different aspects and little obscure settings and functions of the reporting and other nuances of Church Community Builder. Uh, it was tough to get a, a grip on all of those early on. Planning Center, uh, it was an easier transition because it's modern. Uh, it, frankly, it makes sense. It feels Apple-like in just how intuitive it is to interact with the features in Planning Center. When looking for church management software, top considerations I would make are, uh, first, how effectively is this at tracking people? For example, Planning Center, it lets people check themselves into events. It lets group leaders take attendance. That is important because if you don't have that kind of functionality where the user themselves can log that action, then you would be relying on your own staff or volunteers to try to keep track of everything. So I'd say first, make sure there is an interface where the end user, the public facing side, can be used effectively to track users. Uh, and second, it seems crazy to say in the year we're in, but make sure there's a friendly mobile interface, preferably an app. Uh, we found that with a, our church community builder experience, they didn't have a mobile app uh, that was great for anyone to use. And so when we switched to planning center, their suite of apps made it easier for us to roll that out to our people. So I'd say, Top two considerations are make sure there is an effective way to track the engagement of people with your church through that software. And second, make sure there is a mobile interface for that to happen because in this day and age, your people are going to be more hesitant or more forgetful about using something that is desktop only.